let's talk about this. And what I mean by talk about this, y'all trolls are gonna shut up and you're all gonna fucking listen and I'm gonna do the talking. Because that's how this works. So, what I find funny is this, okay? What I find real funny is this, Kate. You're quick to target me, right? You're very quick to target me. But yet, you've done nothing wrong, right? That's a fucking lie. That is a motherfucking lie, bitch. I mean, why is it, Kate? Why did you target me, Kate? Hmm? Why'd you make me a target, Kate? Why'd you make me a target, Kate? Hmm? Why is that? You had no grounds to target me on. At all. You had no grounds to fucking target me like you fucking did. Yo bitch ass has been to court God knows how many motherfucking times. Not to mention you're a drug addict and you're an alcoholic. Not to mention you have a real big habit of harassing the people that you go to court with. You know, people like Turtle Boy. So, I mean, it's pretty funny if you ask me, Kate. And it's kind of odd. I mean, it's kind of odd, Kate, at how you can sit there and play the hero saying that I'm a pedophile, right? But on what grounds am I a pedophile? On what grounds, bitch? I mean, you and Marty literally blackmailed me into that fucking shit. Well, more or less, Marty did. But what I find interesting is that nobody's questioning your ass. Why is that? Hmm. Maybe because they're scared of you? Because you like to blackmail people? Perhaps? I mean, it wouldn't surprise me. I mean, you've done it before. You've done it to other people before, Kate. I mean, come on, Kate. We all know that Marty fucking hired you. We all know it. And we all know that after that shit went down with me, we all know that you took those fucking screenshots and you altered them. We all know that you altered them to make yourself look good, bitch. We all know that you have a habit of doing shit to make yourself look good. We all know damn well that you altered those fucking screenshots to make yourself look good. I'm not stupid. Like, everybody knows that you're a fucking piece of shit. You're garbage. Trash. You're worthless. And it's pretty funny to me, Kate, that how you can sit there... And illegally entrap me. Hmm. Maybe if you and Marty didn't conspire and blackmail against me, this wouldn't have happened. Maybe if we, maybe if you would have shut your fucking mouth and left me the fuck alone, I wouldn't be in this position where I'm having to go to court. Hmm. I mean, it's pretty funny, Kate. Is it the one that you illegally entrapped? Or is it the one that has the fucking photos that premeditatedly decided to commit the act and illegally entrapping that person? I mean, it's pretty, it's pretty clear, Kate. You illegally entrapped me. And Marty, you sat there and fucking blackmailed me on the fucking phone. You literally sat there and fucking blackmailed me and told me that if I didn't go along with this, that you were going to come after me and my family. And don't lie, Marty. You know you did. 
You can't fucking lie. You know you did, motherfucker. You sat right there and called my phone and said that if I didn't talk to Kate, that shit was going to happen. I mean, we've all witnessed it multiple times on your YouTube channel, Marty. You sat right there on live streams and blackmailed me. Telling me that if I didn't dance or if I didn't do this or that, that this shit was going to happen. I mean, it's pretty odd, Marty, how you randomly find Kate and then all of a sudden you decide to formulate a plan just so that you can have your way with me. I mean, it's pretty clear what you were trying to do, Marty. You were trying to isolate me. You're a modern day piece of shit. That's all you are. You use fear to control. And you like to bully people into doing what you want them to fucking do. So yes, Marty. I mean, y'all are honestly, y'all should fucking date. So why don't y'all hook up and date? I mean, just saying. I mean, and if, if nobody likes the truth, well, I'm sorry. I'm sorry if nobody likes the fucking truth, but it is the truth. Y'all are a bunch of fucking dumbass fucking internet cult motherfuckers. I mean, y'all been trying to ruin my life for the last five fucking goddamn years. Y'all have sat there and bullied me and pushed me and pushed me and pushed me, but yet when I fire back... When I say something back, all of a sudden, I'm the bad guy, right? When I whistleblow on the bullying and the blackmailing and the blackmailing my mom's and sending her death threats and being shot at and being assaulted. When I blow the whistle on you motherfuckers, all of a sudden, I'm the bad guy, right? Well, guess what? If I am the bad guy... I'm a damn good looking bad guy, if you ask me. I'm, I'm, dude, I'm a fly ass fucking bad guy, if you ask me. I'm proud to be the bad guy in this story. And you want to know why? Because this bad guy knows the motherfucking truth. This bad guy knows what the fuck is up. Hey, yo, CIA hole. Wouldn't you say that it's pretty odd that... All this shit seems to tie right back around to one person, Marty. I mean, don't, don't you find it kind of funny at how every single thing that's happened to me goes right back around to Marty every time? And Kate, let's be honest. You sat right there and first, at first and pretended to be 18 you fucking years old. And then you turned around and kept switching it up between 15 and 18, 15 and 18, 14 and 18. And then when you sent that picture, you turned around and claimed to be 14. I mean, which is it, Kate? Are you 36? Are you 18? What is it, bitch? You can't have your cake and eat it at the same time, you dumb fuck. I mean, Kate, let's be honest. When this goes to court, and it will go to court, who do you think they're going to believe? Somebody like you, who has a track record of getting cases thrown out of court, and somebody who likes to blackmail and harass and attack the person that they're in court for, or the person that you decided to victimize? I mean, let's be honest, Kate. Your track record is pretty fucking bad. I mean, let's be honest, Kate. You helped these motherfuckers go after Chris Chan. I mean, it's pretty funny how all your people, all this is one thing I've noticed about you and Marty and all your little friends, Katie. This is the one thing that I've figured that's very, very interesting. All of the people that you go after have one thing in common. Well, actually, two things in common. They either look weak or are special needs. I mean, let's think about it. You went after Joey. 
He was severely special needs. And I don't even know how many people you went after after that. I mean, it's pretty interesting that you can sit there, Marty, and do all that shit. And the only reason why you get out of this is because of daddy's money. So, I mean, Marty, if I was you, I'd find a different career. Because what are you going to do when you're 80 years old, Marty? When you hit 80 years old and YouTube's basically dead and gone, right? When YouTube's dead and gone and it's no longer around and it's dead, what are you going to do then? How are you going to make your money? Think about it. I got my, I got my life planned out already. I already know what the fuck I'm going to do and when I'm going to do it. I already got my life fucking planned out, dude. I'm already set to fucking go. But, I mean, what about you, Marty? What are you going to do when you turn 80 years old and YouTube's dead? You ain't going to have no one to fuck with, are you? And what? And for all y'all trolls that want to sit there and run your mouths... And talk shit. Let me say something to y'all real quick. Let me be fucking real with you guys. Alright, let me level with you for a second here. Do you guys not realize that how I act depends on how you treat me? If you treat me with respect and kindness and understanding, I'll treat you like a human being. But when you come at me fucking sideways, running your goddamn mouth, thinking that you're a badass, well, guess what? I'm going to fire back and treat you the same fucking way. I oh, man, I've made fucking mistakes in the past. No one's fucking perfect. We all make mistakes. Every last one of us. I mean, it's pretty funny in how... Marty, you and Kate could sit there and fuck people's lives up with no repercussions. But guess what? When this shit's done, there is going to be repercussions for your actions. There will be repercussions for your fucking actions. Well, guess what? I'm not weak anymore, motherfuckers. I'm the one y'all should be fucking looking out for. Because like I said, my legal team knows every single fucking thing. They've seen the screenshots. They've seen Kate's history. They've seen your history, Marty. And guess what? They ain't too happy with you motherfuckers. They ain't too happy with you motherfuckers, Marty. You, Kate, the trolls. Talk about calling the tea kettle black, Marty. And all y'all trolls. Talk about calling the motherfucking tea kettle black. So, I gotta finish up a couple songs. I'll catch you on a bit, baby. As I always say, man, stay humble, stay positive. Don't be negative towards anyone, man. Always try to help them out. If you see someone in need, man, fucking help them out, bro. Don't tear them down, man. Help them out. But with that being said, I fucking love you guys. As always, stay humble, stay positive. Don't let anybody throw any kind of garbage or shade at you guys. And I'll catch you guys here in a little bit, man. Peace. Oh, and just for the record, friends don't let friends become bullies or trolls. Oh, and uh, one more thing. Fuck the trolls. <laughs>